In this video, I'm going to show you about the power of scheduling announcements and materials ahead of time in Google Classroom so that life is just much more efficient for you and for your students. All right, so I'm currently in uh, one of my example Google Classrooms, and I'm gonna show you how to schedule an announcement instead of just typing something and posting it immediately. So one of the things that is kind of hidden in Google Classroom is next to the post, there's a little down carrot and one of the options is schedule. So we're going to be using the power of that schedule today. So you'll see here, I already have an announcement that is scheduled to be posted for tomorrow at 6.45 a.m. And that will come up under saved announcements at the very top of your stream. So I'm going to show you how to use announcements, how to repost this, but know that you can also apply this scheduling technique to materials or assignments for uh, your Google Classroom. So I'm going to reuse post. I like to do this for a lot of my announcements so that I'm just changing up the content slightly, but I'm saving myself time. So the last thing that I have scheduled is for Monday. Um, and I know that I'm gonna be making an announcement for next Tuesday. So I'm going to reuse an announcement from Tuesday to get an announcement ready for the following day. And so this will be Tuesday, January 12th. You can put in whatever other information you might need. I'm gonna come back in here later and change my national whatever it is day. And then when you're ready, you can click the down carrot You'll click schedule, and then you can select the date that this is going to appear. So one thing to know is whenever you are scheduling, um, you only can apply it to the current class that you're in. The instant that you go ahead and apply it to more than one class, schedule is no longer an option. Keep in mind though, once you schedule this assignment, you're then able to reuse the post in another class. So I'm gonna use this as an example. We'll schedule it and I'll show you what I mean. So now I'll go to my eighth grade Google Classroom and this little icon here, the little cycle is the reuse post. So I'm going to reuse post and you can select where, which class you would like this to pull from. So I can pick my seventh grade class where I just posted it and I can reuse and schedule the same exact post. So this will be a lot less work later on. So last tip I wanna give you is I honestly recommend setting out some time on your calendar. If you know that you have announcements or materials to post, just set aside some time that's specifically dedicated to getting your learning space set up and to just saving and scheduling these different announcements so that you don't have to worry about them throughout the week. So um, that's my last tip here and happy scheduling.